Spanning tree is something that uh, prevents loops and not something you want to turn off. It was invented by a really smart Indian lady. There's really no reason to ever turn it off. Now, like everything else, it has to be configured properly. It's always better that you, the system administrator, manually uh, make crucial decisions and not let devices auto-configure themselves. Redundancy is something that's absolutely uh, necessary, but if it's not managed, you can have uh, switching loops and that can cause a lot of problems. In my mind, spanning tree is synonymous with root bridge. There has to be a root bridge, a, a backbone, a very robust unit that is the center of the action. Cisco devices, Cisco switches, they try to elect this thing automatically by themselves and they do this with the use of BPDUs. It's a special frame. There are systems in place to help these devices auto-configure themselves, but you auto not use it. The system administrator is in control. He should elect the root bridge manually, and you can save yourself a lot of headaches downstream.